Hey, attention crypto gossipators, things are about to get interesting. Remember, not financial advice. Hey guys, what is up? Hope everyone is doing well. Hope everyone's having an amazing day because I am as usual. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. So guys, as we all know it, we are, you know, waiting for that big bull run, for that big push of Bones Price because Bones Price is floating a, at a quite, uh, you know, low level. You know, it's a very uh, cheap at the moment. For some, it's an opportunity to obviously load up to you know get those bags nice and heavy because probably you won't ever see these type of prices again in the future after because you know at the end of the day bone has a utility it has a use case uh so this is very very low okay a very low price uh so people are taking opportunities uh out of this but then we have another side that are worried that are panicking and uh, it's important that I make one of these videos just to guys clarify what is gonna happen in the future, where we stand right now when it comes to Bone, when it comes to uh, Shibarium, what is going on. So as most of you know, the past seven days have been quite interesting because we saw a pump, okay? A pump in price, uh, not a big one, obviously not a massive one uh, but still uh, you know something which kind of you know gives us that hope so as you can see we were dipping around here and then we pumped up and uh, people got very excited and we're thinking well what 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 has caused this but what the the reason why this actually happened could be attributed to different things but one of the things you know could have been the fact that more of bone is being staked so a lot of it is coming out of uh, circulating supply demand increases so that is how you know we see the nice prices then we've got all these nft projects that are coming up again these are causing uh, prices to go up really guys uh, for shibarium this is great uh, stuff so you know there is this activity that is happening and it's starting to slowly pick up where you're gonna see prices arise because of it okay and you will see bone being utilized because you know shibarium uh, needs to be built on needs to be used for so obviously you see bone and it is very very nice i mean guys let us be honest about uh where we stand all we're doing is just waiting for that next bull run uh, for you know the Bitcoin halving for the exchanges to come in and give it more exposure So these are the sort of things that are gonna excite uh, All of us, okay, and these are the sort of things that are going to take bone to that level that we so much acquire uh, It to be at for those that are saying that it is game over that it's done uh, I'm sorry guys, but this is really not the case if I was to open up the one-year chart guys or, or the max chart for example, okay, we have always seen you know these peaks then we've seen the dips then we've seen the peaks then we've seen the dips peaks dips again okay and then again a reversal so if you think that we won't even go past one dollar uh, or two dollars you are very very wrong because we went past two dollars without even having a utility even you know look look at this spike you know three dollars uh, two years ago, okay, uh, nearly two years ago, uh, with no utility, when Bone was an absolutely nothing, okay, was zero, and it goes over three dollars, and that was during one of these, you know, bull runs. So you can imagine the next bull run with many more holders, with way more money in it, with a way higher upscale, with a utility, a use case, so all these things put together, you know, and I keep. It, can carry on preaching about and and pointing out you have to understand that the price has just no limits i know uh, a, lo a lot of you were expecting you know a hundred dollars after shibarium came out well it is what it is okay no one uh, thought that we it was going to go bearish the market straight away we didn't think you know shibarium was going to collapse from all the demand but i think you know a lot of people didn't realize uh, just like myself you know i should have also realized a bit more that uh, just like all the other layer two solutions they have to actually you know work a bit you know there has to be something there needs to be some progress there needs to be some volume and then we can start talking uh, it has been the case with polygon bnb so all that stuff that you look at also went through the same route and if you're sitting here and also telling me well the tvl of shibarium isn't that high when we compare it to another layer two solution i'm sorry uh, shibarium has been out you know for a few weeks we can put it this way okay 
So you can't go in and make these crazy assumptions. Okay, uh, well, if you were to give it, you know, at least half a year or even more, then you could make some sort of assumptions. Then you can make a fair comparison. But at the moment, this type of analysis, this type of comparison doesn't mean anything. So you have to focus on the present time. And the present time is very simple, okay? It's very, very simple. Don't overcomplicate things. Guys, it is what it is. You see it, you understand it, um, and you can feel it. Look, the prices, yeah, they may be low. It may look uh, like, you know, there are a lot of red candles, but it's the same for all the other cryptos out there, okay? We're in a blood market right now, and it will all go green uh, very soon, okay? Because it always is the case. It's always how the markets work, whether it's with cryptos, whether it's any other prices of any other, you know, say, for example, commodities or whatever it is, always goes up and down, and we're always going in waves. So stop panicking, stop freaking out. We've got all the tools here. We're waiting for some uh, further things to happen um, that are going to enable the price to grow even higher, give it more exposure. And then from then on, we will be set and ready to really blossom, to really flourish and take our, uh, you know, uh, portfolios uh, to levels that we haven't even seen before. It's a lot of money on the table, a lot of money to be made. Uh, so be ready uh, and also, you know, stop stop listening to the FUD. Stop li listening to those that try to demotivate. You don't even know where this FUD is coming from. Maybe, you know, they're FUDing because they want to buy up your, your bone and take advantage of these low prices. That's why it's important that you, you know, subscribe to this channel, you turn that notifications bell on and you listen to these videos because I try to keep the spirits high up even when we, when it looks like, you know, uh, we are in a bad position when we really are not. But still, you know, I try to push for the best because I see the overall vision. I see the future. Uh, and, you know, I believe that there is so much in this. Uh, and especially, you know, when developers and the ship ecosystem in general put in so much effort. Uh, also, so many are being paid and boned. So it, it can't go wrong. It just really cannot go wrong. It can only go up from now on. So if you have any thoughts, leave them down below in the comment section. Talk, discuss, engage would be very nice of you guys. You know, really get um, uh, yourselves uh, uh, really on, on the path uh, to seeing that future uh, vision that we have here. Also, as I've said, you know, join, like, share, engage. And from my side, just want to say a big thank you to everyone. I appreciate all the support and I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.